Hello, welcome to this video on end tidal CO2 monitoring. So there was three points here I wanted to discuss in the introduction. So the first point being that end tidal carbon dioxide analyzers are used to monitor end tidal CO2. The second point to discuss is that these analyzers utilize the fact that molecules with two dissimilar atoms absorb infrared light at a specific wavelength. And the third point to make is that end tidal CO2 analyzers can either be mainstream or sidestream analyzers. So we look at this diagram here, we have a light source. The light source then passes through a sample chamber, a multi-gas filter, and then we'll hit a photodetector. We have the same thing that happens through a reference chamber. Um, for me, um, I've gone through um, the process in nine points in order to, to try and uh, include everything that's important with entitled CO2 analyzers. So the first point, CO2 molecules absorb infrared light at a wavelength of 4.3 micrometers. The amount of infrared absorbed within the sample chamber is directly proportional to the carbon dioxide partial pressure. After the um, infrared light has passed through the sample chamber and multi-gas filter, it then hits a thermopile detector. And then this means that the amount of infrared light detected by, by the thermopile detector is inversely proportional to the amount of CO2 um, present within the sample chamber. We then have a reference chamber here, um, and the reference chamber is compared with the sample chamber in order to calculate a, um, in order to calculate a measurement for end tidal CO2. The end tidal CO2, we have a square waveform, and this is because of the inspiratory and expiratory phase of the respiratory cycle. A microprocessor controlled infrared light is, is used and the supply to the light is maintained at a constant current of 150 milliamps. As discussed before, the end tidal CO2 monitor will have an inspiratory and an expiratory phase and this can be used to calculate the respiratory rate. We can set alarm limits on the monitor for high and low values of end tidal CO2 and the analyzers should be regularly calibrated in order to avoid drift. Thank you for watching this video and please see my channel for the other videos that I have.